the moment has come. The one that lots of us have been waiting for. At the end of May, the Power BI team introduced a feature called Fiat Parameters that will allow us, report creators, to easily set up dynamic x-axis for visuals. Something like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how I solved this issue before this feature and help you to set up your first field parameter to enhance the user experience of your report. Let's roll the intro. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you in your Power BI journey. If this is your first time around here, then please start by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons so you wouldn't miss my Power BI tutorials and shorts. So dynamic x-axis or as Microsoft calls it, field parameters. What are they and how come there is so much hype around them? Well, my short answer is simply because it is a very much needed functionality and when I first saw the demo, my mind just exploded. But hey, let me show you super quickly the convoluted solution for the dynamic x-axis in the pre field parameters era. Let's say that I want to allow my report consumers to use a single visual on the report page to see last year's year-to-date sales versus current year's year-to-date sales and growth figures by three different categories, either by channel type we used to sell our products, or by continent where we sold our products, or by the customer sector who purchased one of our items. It sounds super easy and I reckon most of you have faced somewhat similar data with challenge before. But let's expose the underlying complexity of this relatively simple problem. Allow me to show the selection and the bookmarks pane. To be able to create this view, I had to create three separate visuals with three unique bookmarks to allow my bookmark navigator on the bottom to switch between different views. While in this demo, with a single element on the report page, it doesn't sound like a huge problem. Imagine having a pop-up slicer panel with its bookmarks, a friendly reset button with a bookmark, and just a couple of other visuals as well on the canvas. It would be a nightmare to manage them, especially if you need to adjust the multi-visual setup. Let's say from a nice combo chart to a table. You would need to adjust every single one of them, one by one. Not too efficient, right? And this is where the newly introduced field parameters come in handy. Let me just copy the combo chart to the new page so I don't have to reinvent the database there. After I enable this preview feature, all I need to do is click on modeling on the top, new parameter and fields. Name it properly, but for this demo I'm just going to keep this parameter name and select the fields from my data model that I want my users to switch between. From the channel table, select channel name. From the geo table, select continent. And lastly, from the customer table, select customer sector. You can add as many fields here as you want. If you miss the field, you can add it later as well by adjusting the DAX code. For the time being, let's use these three fields and keep the end slicer to this page selected. After we click on the shiny create button, there is one more thing to do. Select the visual and drop in the newly created parameter field from the parameter table. Then all of this works. It works just fine. And as you can see, there is no need to add extra buttons, multiple visuals, or create bookmarks to allow our end users to easily and quickly switch between different columns or parameters on the X axis. And if you want to add more options, just click on the parameter table and have a look at the DAX code. It's not too difficult to replicate with an extra line. Let's say I want to add group from my product table. Just copy the last line and paste it at the end change over the fields and rename the parameter and lastly increase the sort order numbering at the end. Once that's done a new slicer option will show up and I can analyze my sales results by the product group. How cool is that? I mean this is such an important feature in developing reports with superb user experience. 
I haven't been this excited about a new feature in Power BI since um, the composite models were introduced. It also means that I can start working on removing those bookmarks and button solutions from many of my reports. But before you also start doing that, just keep in mind that it is a preview feature with some limitations. You can see these limitations on the screen right now, and you can also find them on the official Microsoft documentation. The link is in the description below. I think one of the most critical limitations is the drill through and tooltip one. However, even Microsoft says that it is a limitation now, so hopefully in the near future they will make these available for the field parameters as well. So what do you think? Do you like what field parameters can give to you and your report users? Have you tried them before? Let me know all of this in the comment section below and accept a few more videos on field parameters as I'm also exploring what's possible with them. Thanks for tuning in today, I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your reports. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above tutorials. Until the next one, see ya!